The Miss Indian World Pageant is a competition where Native American women represent their different tribes and traditions. Joining us now is Kansas Begay, Miss Indian World 2013, and one of this year's competitors, UNM student and a member of the Navajo Nation, Shay Claw. Hello, ladies. Thank Hello. you so much for joining me. Yes. Are you guys ready? Oh, yes. Yeah? Are you nerv <laughs> You're nervous? I'm you excited? I'm more excited than I am nervous. That's good. Do you, yeah. I have to ask, do you have any tips? Yeah, um, to really be able to be articulate when you're talking. I think that's the best thing to do, um, especially being able to convey to your people how much you would like to represent them and being able to really understand our culture and our languages. Absolutely. So can you tell me a little bit about the pageant? Yes, the pageant is actually almost a week-long pageant. You know, not a lot of people know that it is. Yeah. Um, it, we are, they're judged on different categories, such as um, first they send in an essay, and okay. then they do personal interviews, and then they do um, a traditional talent, which is Thursday night. So that's the funnest part of it, I think, for okay. everyone to watch. And it's open to the public. All right, yeah. open to the public. Yes. We can go watch everybody. Yeah. So you're a UNIM student. Yes. That means you have to know how to write an essay. Yes. What did you write your essay about? I wrote my essay about why I want to run for Miss Indian World. Okay. And what I included in that essay was a lot about my why a lot of what my family has taught me throughout the past and what what I want to convey to the younger generation to really just cherish who they are, you know, and believe in themselves and also I talked about, you know, how we as Navajo people we we have four values and it's love, hope, faith, and charity and that's what I want to convey to the public and that's what I included in my essay. Okay, yeah. so okay, when they tell you you have to write an essay, do they give you a word count that you have to follow or a page count? Um, page. Yeah, they I think do. it was, this year it was two pages. Yeah. Okay, so you do have a talent. What mm -hmm. What is your talent? I will be presenting the Navajo basket and it's also known as the Navajo wedding basket and my grandmother actually taught me how to make the basket and that's what I'm going to be presenting to everyone. Very cool. Yes. So what was your talent? Um, I talked about our Navajo coming of age ceremony which is called the Kinalda okay. and I went through because I'm actually a recording artist. So oh really? Yes, yes. Cool. So I got to sing a few of my songs and I had an actual demonstration in three parts okay. um, actually showing them how we do certain parts of the traditional part of it. Very cool. So yes. you've been this for a year. You've been yes. Miss Indian World for a year. Mm -hmm. What are some highlights? Um, I think the biggest part that I just loved was going to Canada. <laughs> you went to Canada? Was yes. it your first time? Um, no, I've been there when I was really small, but that part of in Saskatoon, Canada, it was such a lovely place. Um, it was cold. Yeah. <laughs> it was very cold during the time Especially I went. Especially here. Yes, yes. But, you know, I was able to take part in the part where they were raising one of the flags. Um, and it was for the Métis people, mm -hmm. in which it was not a federally recognized tribe at the time, but is now. So yeah. it was a really beautiful part to see that, to have the interaction between the non-natives and the natives to yeah. come together and celebrate something great like representing tribes. That's awesome. So it's going to be a bittersweet ending, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. I so think, of course. What, what are you looking forward to most? I believe, I think I'm looking more forward to is the talent presentation. Yeah. Because I'm going to have my grandmother up there, and she's 71. So, <laughs> so cool. Yeah, and then I'm going to have my niece also, and she's going to be, you know, portraying me when I first learned. So that's what I'm looking forward to, and my whole family is going to be out here for it. That's great. Yes. And everybody else can watch also. Can you yes. remind our viewers when and where they can watch? Yes, they can watch um, at the Gathering of Nations website for okay. the powwow part of it, and they can also come, like I said, Thursday night for the, the convention center. It starts at 7 p.m., and also Friday night they have the traditional dance part of it at the Gathering of Nations powwow. And then Friday night, uh, Saturday night is the crowning. Very cool. That's so exciting. Yes. <laughs> I'd be nervous and excited, but all good feelings. Mm -hmm. Thank you, yes. ladies, so much. Thank so you. if you want any more information about this event and where you can see these two lovely ladies, just go to casa.com and click on the style blog. Now it's time for the question of the day. There are some new underwater residents at the Albuquerque Biopark that you may want to check out soon. These little green guys look like stalks of grass, but they're actually eels. Now, there are more than 20 of them, but they're like underwater prairie dogs, and they dig holes up and they pop up whenever they want to. Now, in the Gulf Coast Gallery, there are a pair of young American alligators. And today we're talking all about Run for the Zoo coming up on May 4th, so what we want to know from you at home what is your favorite animal or activity at the ABQ Biopark? Let us know. You can like us on Facebook, you can follow us on Twitter, and as always, you can go to casa.com and leave us a message there. Just go to Style Blog. All right, ladies, favorite Albuquerque Biopark 
animal or activity? Let's hear it. Um, I really like the jellyfish. The they jellyfish. So colorful. I forget about the jellyfish. Yeah, they like they're purple. It's the, so, yeah, oh, they I glow. love the jellyfish. <laughs> yeah. I, I forgot about that. That's a good answer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what about you? I think I like the sharks. Just like you know, like the small ones. Don't they oh, have like the, the little, little baby shark? sharks? Yes, those yeah. are they're adorable. <laughs> yeah, I was telling everybody my favorite animal of all time is hippos. I oh, love yes. hippos. I wrote a book about hippos once, <laughs> and I'm so into it. But did you know our Albuquerque, our zoo is nationally ranked? Isn't oh, that awesome? Really? Yes, that is awesome. Well, yeah. it's always good when New Mexico gets a good rating for something. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I love it so much. So, yes. Thank you, ladies, thank so you. much for joining us, and good luck this weekend. Yes. I, I mean, I couldn't imagine. I'd be so, so nervous if I if I was doing it. I couldn't mm -hmm. compete in anything. But I hope you guys do so awesome. Yes. And. I have to ask, what are you going to do next? Um, I am actually a recording artist, like I said, so uh -huh. I am going to release a new album this coming year. Very cool. So, and hopefully go for a Grammy. So that would be nice. And also finish, uh, I'm going to start my master's degree program since I graduated from UNM here as my so bachelor's. So Both, okay, so she's going to UNM, you graduated from UNM, and yes. you're going to go back. Yes, yes. You guys are doing it all. Yes, well, doing everything. Yeah, still to come. This